Now, small and medium-sized enterprises, known as SMEs, are indeed the lifeblood of the British economy. They account for 99% of all businesses, around two-thirds of all employment and half of all commercial turnover. Around 17 million of us work for SMEs, and in 2019, total SME revenues, they, they tutted up to 2.3 trillion, yes, that's 2.3 thousand billion pounds, proper money. Since the year 2000 to 2019, the number of UK SMEs rose by 61%. But during lockdown, countless small firms went to the wall, with recorded numbers falling by 7%. Lots of pubs, restaurants and other small firms did indeed struggle badly during the pandemic. Many high street retailers folded, of course, as online shopping dominated by large firms bloomed from under a fifth to almost a third of all retail spending here in the UK. Having said that, small businesses are built on optimism and hope. And there's at least some of that in a new survey today from the Federation of Small Businesses. The FSB's Small Business Confidence Index stood at plus 15.3 between January and March, meaning a majority of small firms expect an improvement in their business over the next three months. That's significantly up on the last quarter of 2021, when the Confidence Index stood at minus eight, with most firms then expecting decline. So that's a turnaround. Today's confidence index for firms in the accommodation and food sector, benefiting from relaxed travel rules, that was plus 16.5. And it was even more bullish between January and March at plus 32.1 across information and communication firms, many of which, of course, are helping with the move to working from home and other forms of hybrid employment. By contrast, manufacturers and wholesale and retail firms, they reported negative ratings over the last three months, minus 9.1 and minus 8.2, respectively. As surging operating costs, supply chain disruption, labour shortages and consumer belt tightening weighed on their expansion plans. Now, small firms certainly are grappling with a range of issues. Rising fuel and utility costs, difficulty sourcing imports and components, plus higher national insurance contributions and other forms of tax. Over 5,000 corporate insolvencies were registered across England and Wales during the first three months of 2022, double the number recorded over the same period last year and 15% up on the first quarter of 2019 before the pandemic hit. And that's our On The Money debate today, focused on the companies so vital to our economy. Just how do we get the UK's small firms back on track?